Welcome back. So now we have this console application that's just one pile of code, right? Now we want to change that into having a more layered clean architecture set up right here. I would say right now we have what they call a monolithic or an all-in-one application. That's kind of what we have available right now for us. And we need to split this up because yes, it's easy to maintain this right now. It's just a single class, very easy, but it's not a production ready class because of course I need to make something a bit larger probably if I want to sell this to anybody. And yes, I also need to kind of save it to a database and add it to some kind of um, web solution to kind of make this interesting for any customer, right? This is just a basic school project, not good enough for a production ready application. So we need to figure out, we have so much code right here, where does everything go? And I kind of just made a small text description about that up here, just to kind of give you guys an overview about what I'm looking for um, to kind of try and make this into a clean architecture layered application. So I've kind of just tried to split up the code and just add some kind of text to give you guys the mindset about what you look for in this um, basic old console app when you try to split it up, right? So I need to kind of say the user interface, the stuff that I want to put in the top layer right here, that's actually going to be console read line, console write line, nothing else. There shouldn't be anything else in this console app, in my case, that belongs in that package right here. And notice how much more there's in here right now. That sucks. There's so much in here. That's just terrible design. Okay, second thing I should look for is infrastructure. That's pretty much the guy down here. And right now what we're doing is we're storing all the data in a stupid static customer list right here. And we have some kind of static ID that we can kind of up and count up and down. Now that's again fine for this small program right here, but in a real application where you need to kind of let the database handle your IDs, you need to have some kind of relational mapping probably, you need a lot more information than just a simple static list like this guy. So we need to figure out what should go inside uh, how should we store our data? And that's going to be put inside something called the infrastructure uh, layer later on. So we're going to need a project for that as well. We're going to have some tests here and there, so we're going to need projects for that as well. I'll get back to that later. And then the final thing is we need some kind of core project. Now the core project is this guy, right in here, the red stuff in here. And we're going to have two different things in here. We're going to, in my case, have something called the domain services. And they're going to contain information about how we want to work with a database. We're going to have two patterns there called the repository and unit of work pattern and probably a bit more, but that's kind of the goal in here. Don't worry, I'll make all of this. I'll explain all of this later on, but the domain service is going to be inside our core project. The other thing we're going to place in there is the application service. So stuff like this, where we're going to have domain specific information, like how do we find a customer? Will we have to do this and this and this and this and this and this and this? Well, we're going to move all of that into the core setup into this area right here so we can unit test it. So again, don't worry, I'll get into that later on, but we need some kind of core that can contain domain services and application services in my setup. And the last thing we need is going to be some kind of core entity where we can have things like the customer and orders and all the domain entities that needs to be stored and retrieved from the database. Pretty much just meaning that we need an area that can know how should your model look. Right? So do we need to have customers? Do we need to have orders? Do we need to have uh, order lines? What do we need to make the system so that we can save the data later on and retrieve data again from the database or wherever we store our data? So that's what we need. And that's what we're going to build the next lesson. We're going to make these, these projects so they're just ready to use. So see you in the next lesson where we're going to add a lot more projects to our code right here. Have fun.